Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of Automaton. And I, well, today we're going to go to the Nether. There's no way to sugarcoat this. We're going to the Nether because I wanted to make um, coal coke, not coal coke, blast bricks. And I thought you just needed Nether rack, so I went and got Nether rack. But then afterwards, I realised you need um, blaze powder. So we are going to go back into the nether. So, um, I did do a little, I didn't do very much um, while I was off. Oh god, the lag. But what I did do, no we don't want you. What I did do is that um, I went looking, I used one of the tools online and I went looking for a nether fortress because I thought, you know what, I'm not going to waste time just running around blindly looking for another fortress. So I got some coordinates, so we are going to see whether this works or not. So, yeah, because I've, no I've never really done that before. I don't know if these coordinates are going to be accurate. Right. Let's come here. I've got... Oh, I must have put them back in. I had two stacks of cobblestone on me. I need to run back and get my cobblestone. I'll be right back. Right, I've got my two... Um, my two stacks of cobble. So let's build a little protective shelter, because I can hear a ghast. I don't know exactly where it is, but I don't want it to blow up another portal. So let's just make this kind of safe and then I can see if I can make a waypoint with the coordinates for our supposed nether fortress. Okay, oh F7, I need to turn that on so I can see where things will spawn. Let's stick something there, something there. And a torch there right so according to the online map it is x minus 153 z61 right let's make a waypoint new okay so x do you know oh that's the name so this should be fortress with a question mark and the X is minus 153 and the Z is 61 and let's make that red save okay so 200 blocks away in which direction? Oh. Which direction? Oh, that way. Okay. Let's go. Oh, there's the ghast. Oh, I don't even have a projectile weapon. Hmm. Right. Let's go this way. Oh, I can just see a bone, a bone block down there, that white thing. Those are the bone structures. You get those in the overworld as well. That's not what I wanted. Oh, fooey. See, I can't even do that right. It goes to show how nervous the nether gets me. I really don't like the nether. Okay, let's see. Can we go this way? Uh, no, we can't go this way. I think the ghast has disappeared though. We need to go in that direction. Alright, let me start. Let's just collect this glowstone. And then let's make our way round to the fortress. And what I will 
do is that if I come across anything interesting, I will bring you guys back in. I'm back. I found another fortress. And I found the enemy. <laughs> It was only half when I was halfway across I suddenly realized I needed a bow and arrow so I went back got a bow and arrow and I'm trying to engage although if I want base powder probably engaging them with a bow and arrow really isn't going to help but okay we're out here let's see if we can get you where are you oh See if we can get you without hitting the zombie pigman. Got you, no blaze rods. Okay, let's eat some food. I don't know where the zombie where there's a blaze spawner. I have no idea. I just came across them outside. Uh, no, let's go this way. Let's see. Let's take stock. Did I actually pick up any? No. Loads of netherrack. No. No blaze powder. I don't even know where the blaze spawners are, to be honest. Nope. Hmm. There's a lot of dead ends in this fortress. Well, this is frustrating. Enderman, no, don't want to engage you today, sir. Um, I've just went out there. Let's put a light on the top of there so I know I've been there. Uh, where did I just? Oh yeah, I'm down there. Let's put a light there. And let's see what else we can find. Get a bla yes, I got blaze rod. Oh, there's a spawner. Okay, we got a spawner. Right, we need we need more than one blaze rod. There's another blaze rod. Oh, green. Right, how many blaze rods did we get? Three. How much blaze powder is that? Not much. Six blaze powders. I think we need. We need a lot. We need a lot. Okay, if we can get them as they spawn, then that should help a lot. And I should put the blaze rods on my hotbar so I can see how many I have. Okay, we've done that. Come on! I can't believe I actually want these stupid things to spawn. Really? Am I too close, maybe? Is there a cooldown on this? Ah, uh, there's one up there now. There's two up there. Really? Nope. Oh, did I hit the um the wall? Let's put that back. I got seven. That's not enough. That's so not enough. Maybe I'm too close. Okay. This is painfully slow. I can't believe I'm actually sitting here, Kay. Come on, I want to engage you. Right, that's eight. That's nine. That's eighteen. If I can get, uh, let's see, that's eighteen blaze powder. 
hold on let's see if we can work this out how many do i actually need um blast glass bricks one blaze powder gives me three bricks three by nine is 27. oh we have exactly enough then brilliant so in that case let's go and kill a couple more anyway right and then we won't have to come back for a bit uh eat 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 oh i did eat right so let's mark this and next time i come back in here i don't wander around play spawner and I will see you guys back at the house. So I've come back to the house. I've had a zombie greet me as I came out of the um, the nether house, which is, you know, just what you need, really. So let's turn these blaze, pow blaze rods into blaze powder. No, wrong bit. There you go. That's 20 blaze powder. So that should be more than enough. And what do we need for the blast bricks? It was nether bricks and is that nether bricks yeah it's nether brick all right but we need nether brick and normal bricks did i smelt up any clay all right let's take down now let's put back all right so we've got a stack of that stack of that i know i don't need a stack but you know, I tend to overcompensate. Blast brick. Put that in. I only needed... Oh, I made 48 and I only needed 27. Ah! It's not what I wanted to do. Never mind. Never mind. Sometimes you can be a little bit overzealous. I thought there was a... a what you call it? Creeper. One of those things that blow up. All right, one, two, three, three, and I'm guessing you do the same thing with this as you did with, there you go, yes, we did it, we did it. Right. Do I get no that's I've forgotten which key my um my quest books <laughs> bound to. I'm playing so many mod packs at the moment, I've totally forgotten. Let's go in and let me have a think. There you go. Quests powering up. Steel production. Let's take a loot chest. Claim that. Atel turns coal coke. Burns coal coke to turn iron into steel. Okay. How much coal coke do we have? There's 34 there. Two blocks here. Um. Turn those into blocks. Because I, I remember seeing somewhere that blocks were more efficient. And let's take a stack of iron. And put that in. Okay, so that and that well at least it's faster than the coke oven which i had totally forgotten about that has lots of creosote there is a container i can make i believe um or is that a quest that might be a quest actually um oh large fluid storage yes that is a quest I might save it for them, for that then. 
So after we make the steel, it wants us to make a water wheel and also to better steel production. The improved blast furnace. So how do you make the improved blast furnace? I'm guessing you put steel in it. Uh, reinforced brass brick and a steel plate. Yes. So we need to make steel, which is what we're doing. And you get slag as an as a byproduct. Okay. So we'll leave that going. I need to put some more. What do we put in this? Just normal coal. Jungle wood charcoal. Yeah, blocks of coal. I think blocks are more efficient if I remember what I've what I've seen. So let's put in let's get a stack. And that would give us is that obsidian? Yes it is. That will give us seven blocks of coal. And then we can put that in to burn. But I'm feeling pretty good about myself. I mean, I actually engaged the, um, the, oh, I've forgotten what they are now. Blaze, blaze, yeah, the blaze. Oh, my, my mind's going. I engaged the blaze pretty well. I mean, I, I can't believe how nervous I was going into the nether. I mean, I was literally, like, actually nervous, <laughs> which sounds a bit stupid. But um, I was really nervous about doing it, but I did it. I got blaze powder, and so that was that was good. What's this blast brick? Okay, I mean we can just save it anyway. Put that back in there. Coal coke. It's coal. Oh, a loot chest. Let's open the loot chest. Oh, conveyor belts. Nice. And that. Oh, great. And that completes a quest reward. That's what I like to see. So, conveyor belts. Now we're moving on to bigger and better machines. We're going to need ways to move items around. And so, they just wanted one conveyor belt. And we get a choice of a splitting conveyor belt, dropping conveyor belts, or vertical conveyor, conveyor belts. Okay, so vertical go upwards. Splitting alternates the path covered i don't know i guess splitting would be the best one how do you how do you make conveyor belts though so a normal conveyor belt is leather redstone and iron dropping is an iron trap door and a conveyor belt vertical okay they're all quite simple to make covered conveyors extracting they're all relatively simple I, I i guess splitting let's take the splitting and claim that industrial pole pulverizing okay alloying metals should we have do we need to that to make steel kill kill bricks okay a kiln, an alloy kiln, is a 2x2x2 two by two by two and is powered by coal. Okay, how do you make a kiln brick? Kiln bricks are sandstone and bricks. Alright, we can do that. And how many do we need? We need eight. And how much does it give you? It's one for one. Oh no, two. So we would need four sandstone, no, eight sandstone and eight bricks. Uh, where are the bricks? Did we take them all out? I think we did take them all out, didn't we? Yeah, and we turned them all into, um, okay, uh, let's take a stack of that. And is there any sand here? Is that sand? No, that's bone block. Yes, there it is. And a block of sand. So we want two, three, four. Did you say we want four? I think so. 
No, two each. So we want eight. It's eight. And then we want eight. Eight bits of clay. Actually, let's use this. There you go, that's eight clay. Does that make it go any faster? Yeah, it does. It does make it go faster. Alright, let's put let's put back what we haven't used. Oh, I can't remember if I actually mentioned, but to get um all of the storage drawers to connect in the corners, we use something called trim. And I used I used oak trim, yes. I thought I used a different colour trim, but um, I used oak trim so I'd know it's a trim. And those are kind of like dummy drawers, so you can connect them all round like that. Like I said, I can't remember if I had said, if I'd mentioned it. Okay, that's eight. Um, put it in this one. So kiln bricks. That should be it. Yep. And let's go and sleep, because I really don't feel like killing anything else tonight. I have a bow and arrow. It would be cool if the creeper would just blow up and then blow up the witches, because I think that witch might be healing herself. The bow and arrow is so satisfying. I like using it. Because, I mean, of course, I there's no risk to myself, is there, really? No, I think it's healing itself. Oh, let's leave her alone anyway. Right, let's sleep. Okay, that's that. Is everybody burning in the sunlight? Skellies are burning. There's a spider out there. We don't need to bother about that. Another skelly burning. But the witches are still there. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. I want you guys to go away. Maybe I should go down into the basement and then it'll be far away enough that they'll despawn. Because, yeah, actually, I should check my mob farm. Really? Is it because... No, but this... To be honest, this should work. In theory, it should work. But yeah, down here, it's I've been digging out stuff. All of that. Been keeping busy. Okay, right, so. Let's build two by two by two. So that means two by two by two. And then I guess you get the hammer and you right click it. And we have an alloy kiln. So you put two things in there and get out one thing. Show recipes. So copper and nickel will give you constant, constant tan. Copper, nickel, okay. Oh, is that? Okay. Gold and silver give you electron. Copper and tin give you bronze. And copper, okay. So it's Constantan, Constantan, tin, and bronze. Right. So today. We've been to the nether. Oh, did we claim? No, we didn't claim a loot chest. Let's claim that loot chest. So we've been to the nether. We got blaze powder. Um, we built our blast furnace. Let's see how our steel is going, actually. Built the blast furnace. Oh, not too bad. That's pretty good. We built our alloy kiln. Um, oh yeah, we need to put in something. 
I need to take that out. But I'll do that in between episodes. So we made our alloy kiln, we made the crude blast furnace, we killed a couple of blaze, and we I killed a witch. <laughs> and that was the other thing. So that wasn't too that wasn't too bad. And we knocked out a couple of quests. Ooh, engineer's workbench. Let's see if we can do that quick. Because that looks interesting. And I don't think you need anything too, too thing for that. And treated wood. Crafting table. Treated wood fence. We can do that. We can so do that. Um, I think that's in the box outside. The things for um, IC2. Okay. Because um, I went exploring. And I found all the presses that I need, all the silicone that I needed. Which actually wasn't too hard. And two treated. Now that's a gate. I always get them mixed up. Uh, engineer's workbench. Oh, we need a crafting table. Pull that in. Engineer's workbench. Uh, where do we want to put that? Let's... oh, I don't know. We'll have to expand outwards. I think I'll have to do that. Think about how I want to put it and expand outwards. But let's just put you here. Ooh, show recipes. There's recipes. Engineer's blueprints and four hop graphite ingots gives you a graphite electrode. Uh, engineer's blueprint, two iron plates and a copper ingot gives you iron mechanical components. Okay, this means absolutely nothing to me. I just need glass. Vacuum tubes. Okay. So I'm guessing you use this to make different components to make immersive engineering stuff. Oh, okay. So even though we've done it, we need plates, rods and wires. Oh. This one. Okay. Oh, okay. Right, so we need to make more steel stuff. Okay. We, we need... We need to look at that next time. That's it for this episode. Please like, comment and subscribe for more great content. It will help to grow my channel. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.